out of step with the mainstream. They've abandoned common sense. And whether it is the open borders that are invading Texas and people are seeing the enormous consequences, or whether it is skyrocketing inflation or out of control crime, people want strong common sense defense of liberty. And, and, and I'm really proud. I've worked hand in hand with a lot of local leaders, particularly in South Texas. And you look at South Texas, which is paying the price of this invasion, and we are seeing Democrats who've been Democrats their entire life coming out and supporting my campaign. That's very encouraging. I will say this. You, you have, and as good as you were in your first term as senator, I would argue in your second term you have become one of the most consequential conservative voices consistent conservative voices in D.C. and on the front line of every fight out there. You don't shy away. And in that sense, you know, when you're a fighter, you're going to end up, I guess, alienating some people. But however, I, I know that your fight is rooted in, in core conservatism and the principles of conservatism. And I think it infuriates the left in large part because of how effective you are. I think there's a reason that they're going to invest all of these these tens of millions of dollars against you. Well, look, you're, you're right that, that you know, you, you have senators who come to Washington and they just desperately want to stay here. And, and, and the easiest way to stay in Washington is just do nothing. Don't rock the boat. Don't take any principled stands. Don't engage in any fight. Just go along to get along. If, if there's a multi-trillion dollar bill, you vote for it, you shower money, you spend like drunken sailors, and, and, and you don't you don't take on the swamp. And, and that's the best recipe to get reelected historically. But what the hell are you doing if you're doing that? I, I, you know, I came to Washington because 30 million people wanted someone to stand and fight, do what he said he would do. And, and I gotta say, the stakes right now, I think, are so enormously high. We're, we're not fighting over little stuff. I, I, I honestly believe we are fighting over whether we save this country, whether America remains a free enterprise nation or we devolve in, into socialism and debt and despair, whether, whether we defend our Constitution and the Bill of Rights or whether we give up our constitutional liberties. And I'll tell you, the way we're standing up to the $100 million that Schumer and George Soros are going to spend against me it is that we've got millions of people across the country who listen to your show, who, who then go to my website, it's tedcruz.org, and, and they go to the website and they give 25 bucks or 50 bucks or 100 bucks, and, and that's really what powers our campaign, or each of your listeners. Every time I go on, on radio or TV with you, your listeners, your viewers, they go to tedcruz.org, they make a contribution, they sign up for a recurring contribution each month, and it's how we stand up to the media onslaught, the Hollywood onslaught, the big tech onslaught, and, and the hundreds of millions of dollars from Chuck Schumer and George Soros. It really is that important. And I want to, want to say one other thing, because now every state, I would argue, every city, every town is a border state. You have been on the front lines of this from the get-go. And let me give you an example. I know it's one that you remember, and I've told the story before. But when, when we were seeing, and even in the midst of COVID, uh, Joe Biden, when he first becomes president, you know, they had their little cages, which they didn't like, they didn't want anybody to, to know about, you know, with overcrowded, with young children all over the place and add to that in the middle of this pandemic and and yet uh, we as hard as we tried we tried so hard my team on uh, my tv team is great we tried to get the images of this they wouldn't let us anywhere near those cages with kids in them and they did have to allow elected officials in if i remember correctly you were told not to videotape Yep. And you went in, and if it wasn't for you videotaping the, the utter overcrowded conditions in the middle of a pandemic, and then being willing to share them yeah, with the world crazy. through my TV show, uh, we never would have known how bad it was. And I think it eventually ended up changing policy. And I, I remember interviewing you at the time, and you said, Sean, they, they, they told me to put my camera away. And I said, no. I mean, am I telling that story accurately? That is exactly right. You, you know, 
The prior administrations had all allowed journalists and TV cameras in to film detention centers, and so George W. Bush had let him in, Barack Obama had let him in, Donald Trump had let him in, and Joe Biden, they desperately didn't want people to see the kids in cages, because Democrats had gone on and on during the Trump administration about kids in cages, kids in cages. They never mentioned it was Barack Obama who built the cages. And once Joe Biden was in, was in office, the cages were bigger and they were more full. And so they shut Red down light, all camera. the TV cameras. And, and you know what the excuse was why they told you you couldn't send your cameraman in? They, they said the cameraman might have COVID. And that was the reason they wouldn't let him in. Now, mind you, they had thousands of people packed into these cells right on top of each other. They had COVID infection rates that were through the roof. And, and so I went in. Uh, and, and, and they couldn't keep members of the Senate out, so I went in and I pulled out my cell phone and I just began taking pictures and videoing it. And, and the Biden administration had sent a, a, a little political bureaucrat from Washington down there to stop anyone from recording what was there. And she got in front of me and said, you're not allowed to do this, you must turn this off. And I, I just said, no, no, I have a responsibility to 30 million people. I'm gonna record what you're doing. And she started screaming, you know, you know, Show some respect. I said, you show some respect. You're the one that's put these people in cages. You're the one that's opened up the border. You're the one that is resulting in these people being in the custody of human traffickers who are assaulting them and brutalizing them. And you don't want America or the world to know about it. And so I was really grateful when I took that video that you, you put it out and that the media all across, across the world put it out. All right, quick break. More with Senator Ted Cruz, the great state of Texas, 800-941-SHAWN, our number if you want to be a part of the program as we continue. Bad for America. Sean Hannity telling the truth that mainstream media likes to stop, son. It's supposed to stop. Sean Hannity. The Sean Hannity Show. Proudly serving America on 700 and 35 great radio stations. Good job, He is on right now. Hey, what if your home's title, which is the legal document that proves you own your home, is in some criminal's name? Well, that's called home title theft. Criminals all over the world can find your home's title online, and then they'll forge your signature. They'll take out loans against your home, or even worse, sell your home. Now, how do you know some criminal is not taking over the title to your home? You can find out with sign up at HomeTitleLock.com and use the promo code Sean S E A S. The world is becoming more and more unstable by the day. And many Americans are not waiting around to find out how bad it could get. They're making the decision to diversify their wealth with precious metals like gold and silver. And they're turning to the top-rated precious metals company, GoldCo. GoldCo is a seven-time Inc. 5000 winner with over 5,000 five-star reviews. And they've helped thousands of Americans place over $2 billion in gold and silver. They're Sean Hannity's top choice. And right now, they're offering up to $10,000 in bonus silver. But it's first come, first served, and only while supplies last. So don't wait. Call Gold Co. at 855-815-GOLD to learn how you can get started today. Tell them Sean Hannity sent you and see if you qualify for up to $10,000 in bonus silver. Don't let this chaotic world get in the way of your goals. Follow Sean Hannity at 855-815-GOLD. That's 855-815-GOLD. 855-815-GOLD. Your home title is far more valuable than a credit card, which is why many criminals aren't going after credit cards. They're stealing home titles. Every county clerk knows about this crime. A lot of mine is yes, it happens, and we can't stop it. If you don't check your home title every 24 hours, that's all the time criminals need to steal it, leaving you with a nightmare of a legal battle. So, when was the last time you checked your title? It's on you to protect your family. Find out if you're already a victim at HomeTitleLock.com. Hey guys, at Prime Mail Medical, their mission is to provide you with the medical care you need to improve your ED, low T, and incontinence. With years dedicated to improving the lifestyle of their patients in the Bay Area, Prime Mail Medical strives to improve your love life and overall health. Listen to Dr. Robert Rowley. We have virtually every medication known to man to help men. 
We specialize in acoustic wave therapy, sublingual lozenges, which bypass the digestive system, making them work faster and more effectively, injectable medications, and testosterone treatment for those patients who need it. Impotence problems can be treated in just one visit. Why wait? Don't lose hope. Call now. Get a PSA test, testosterone test, Doppler ultrasound, and a full year of free visits for just $99. Call 415-761-4037. 415-761-4037. Call now. 415-761-4037. Or go to primemailmedical.com. Are you curious about who offers the best deals on top-rated Samsung, LG, and Sony TVs? The answer is surprising. It's not online, and it's not the warehouse club. The best deals on top-rated TVs are at video only. Don't believe it? Then check out the trade-in deals at video only. How about $500 for your old TV? Try doing that online. Before you buy that new TV, drop into video only. If you don't, you'll be sorry.